to be in the Valley. Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in on this very busy Saturday morning. I'm Anita Roman. We begin with our weather alert this morning. A lot of us saw it. A lot of us heard it. The monsoon rearing its ugly head last night, but it wasn't the rain that got us. Instead, the excessive winds. Power knocked out all over the Valley, and we're going to get to that in just a second. But first, we want to show you some of the video that our wonderful viewers have been sending in. You are our eyes and ears. This is video right here taken in Apache Junction sent in by Lee Smith. Pretty incredible stuff there. As you can see, visibility so incredibly low. And then take a look at this lightning bolt captured Chandler Heights and Power Road. Thanks to Ellison Donnelly for sending that in to us. And then we have video of what is a very dangerous situation for drivers taken at Mountain and Dry Ray Road, Haley Riviero, pretty incredible storm coming in last night. And then take a look at this, one of the most jaw dropping videos that we have. The sky turning purple pretty much as the lightning strikes. This is in Gila Bend. And so thanks to Mandy Manuel for this shot really is incredible. Wow, look at that. Listen to that wind. This was taken in Queen Creek at Ellsworth and Riggs by Bree Escoto. Thanks to everyone sending those in. Our very own photojournalist Tom Fergus sharing these images with us. This is in a neighborhood near Ray Road and McClintock. And the heavy winds blowing through that area as well. Trees are down. So a lot of damage there from the winds. We see a lot of that this morning as the sun is coming up. The National Weather Service issued several warnings last night for parts of the East Valley, and that includes severe thunderstorm warnings. And then, of course, a dust advisory for parts of the West Valley. Now, those have expired, but we have to keep an eye out for more possible warnings today. It's not over. We're right in the middle of the monsoon. Officials, uh, let's take a look at our maps before we talk about the power outages there. So this is our future cast. And no Measurable rain last night to report winds were um, the big story and we could see a repeat of that today. Uh, the visibility very, very low, a possible another wind event for Saturday evening. We have a line of storms moving out of Gila and Graham counties into Maricopa, Pinal and Pima. So Saturday evening, possible wind speeds up to 35 miles per hour in Phoenix area, 70 in Pinal County. Really quickly taking a look at our 10 day forecast. It's going to be hot. We have an excessive heat warning through Sunday, uh, 8 p.m. That's when it's going to expire. 114 are high today. We do have a 20% chance of rain thunderstorms tonight. So definitely keep an eye out for those. Uh, the storms are going to continue as we are in the monsoon. So let's take a look at this power outage because this was a big one. A lot of people were hit. Officials with Salt River Project dealing with numerous powder outages throughout the valley last night. According to SRP's map, uh, the power outages spanned various neighborhoods neighborhoods in the valley all the way from Glendale Apache Junction to Queen Creek and Santan Valley parts of Chandler Heights also affected so this is a map uh, that we're seeing this morning this is the most current map we still have a couple hundred customers without power most of the power has been restored they're saying they're working on it as quickly as they can 704 across